Again, while we prepare for whatever the weather may bring, our area is already feeling the impact from the storms out west, especially the airports. Chris Van Cleve continues our coverage right now from Reagan National Airport. Chris, what's the scene there? Well, Candace, nationally, roughly 2,200 flights have been canceled. Two thirds of those in and out of Dallas. A lot of flights go from Reagan to Dallas. So we are seeing a number of cancellations and a lot of delays here. And remember, the worst of this stuff is still headed this way. So I'm going to enjoy Reagan Airport for a while. Delays and cancellations at Reagan National. But misery across the Midwest and South as a deadly winter storm has knocked out power to hundreds of thousands and made driving dangerous. From Oklahoma City, where even with the plows out, the roads were slick enough to flip this SUV into a ditch, to Fayetteville, Arkansas, where vehicles were slipping and sliding. Over in Fort Smith, more than an inch of ice has accumulated as forecasters predict this could be the worst ice storm since 2009. Some are already calling it Ice Friday, and it's made a big mess in Texas. We were just started going sideways, and then uh, we were on oncoming traffic. And the truck got almost to the top and slid back, doing a jackknife. Didn't know how I'm going to get out of here. The travelers stranded at Dallas airports know that feeling. Many slept at DFW as the weather canceled thousands of flights nationally, which is making getting back to Dallas from D.C. pretty challenging for Charlie Kilmain. Well, I was scheduled to go out at 11, then I was scheduled to go out at 3, then they scheduled me to go out at 4, so I got here, but I found out that was actually 4 o'clock tomorrow. Another storm brewing in the West. 19 states are under winter storm warnings and advisories. In parts of Montana, it felt like a bone-chilling minus 40 degrees. Even California is seeing temperatures plunge, causing pipes to freeze, and has these exotic animals, especially the rhinos, running for their indoor heated shelters in Santa Rosa. They especially don't like the rain. And those rhinos aren't alone. They're just smart enough to get out of this weather. Now, if you're flying today, tomorrow, Sunday, check with your airline before you head to the airport. Many of them are allowing changes without a fee, but be patient. Wait times can be over an hour if you call in. And remember, of course, it's going to get worse here before it gets better for us. We are live at Reagan National Airport tonight. Chris Van Cleve, ABC 7 News.